Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Here we go. In today's video you will find out how the price of EOS has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, RSI, Divergence and Stochastic RSI are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. By taking a look at the hourly time frame for EOS, the price moved up with around 3.4% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 2.71. But the volume wasn't very high so the move wasn't very strong. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is above all of the simple moving averages, which looks bullish and you should watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could remain stable or the price will dip below it with the current price of around 2.66. Moving to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 64, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, owing to a bearish divergence, the price could go down from now on or at least remain stable for the time being. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but because the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, we can deduce that the trend is currently on the up. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 2.63. Moving to the three hourly relative strength index, the current three hourly RSI is at 61, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Looking at the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. Nevertheless, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so it's recommended that you wait and see if the trend does in fact go down. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, the current price is between the 50 and the 200 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 2.57 it could be seen as a support and the 200 SMA that is at 2.72 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. It's important to note that currently the price is below the 200 SMA, which is normally a strong resistance. A potential move upwards, however, could be signaled if it were to break decisively upwards. Jumping to the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI is at 59, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Moving to the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The K line is below the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the downside. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.